Warning. Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. Automatic Phase Switch APM20 is a device which protects continuous power supply for single phase circuits. The phase switch works in following way. In case of L1 phase loss, device automatically switches to L2 or L3 phase. In case of voltage recovery on the L1 phase, the device will automatically switch back the power supply to phase L1. Connection terminals L1, L2 and L3 are for connecting L1, L2 and L3 phases. The terminal N is used to connect the neutral conductor. On the front panel are three LEDs, L1, L2 and L3. which indicates the presence L1, L2 and L3 phases. The nominal voltage level which activates relay switch is 180 volts. The output terminals are marked as L and N. The devices for mounting on a TH35 rail requires two modules. Put the APM20 device on the TH35 rail. Spring clamps will help. Put L1 phase to terminal L1. Put L2 phase to the L2 terminal. Put L3 phase to the L3 terminal. Put the neutral conduct to the N terminal. Connect the receiver. The receiver phase wire should be connected to the L terminal, and the neutral wire should be connected to the N terminal. After supplying the supply voltage, the LED indicates the correct mode of the device. Presence of each phase can be seen. 
At the output of the device the 230 volts is present. Power comes from the first phase. After the loss of supply voltage on the first phase, L1 LED goes out. This signals loss of the first phase. In the case of loss other phase, for example L3, the LED indicating the loss of L3 phase voltage goes out. In this case, the output of the device is voltage coming from the L2 phase. For the purpose of the film, the principle of operation of the device is set by means of buttons that will cut the L1, L2, L3 phases and the receiver in the form of a lamp. We give the first phase of L1. This is indicated by lighting of the L1 diode, as well as starting the output circuit. We give the remaining phases. We can see the light for days L2 and L3. We simulate the voltage decay of the first phase. The device automatically switches the power supply to the second phase. The disappearance of the third phase does not change the device's operation. After the first phase voltage returns, the device will switch the output to the power supply from the first phase. The disappearance of the second phase does not interfere with the operation of the device.